the lucky thing about when I started writing songs was that Garth Brooks was so big and all of country music was, country music at the time was more popular than any other genre of music. It was the first time in American history that there were more country radio stations than uh, rock and roll radio stations as far as I know. At any rate, I knew that me, if I was going to write songs that were true to me, that they probably weren't ever going to be on the radio because I didn't know how to write rodeo, 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 rodeo. And I didn't know how to, I, just, I didn't fit in that, that box. Um, but what I would tell people is that don't be afraid to evolve. You know, I think that the coolest thing, you know, I'm a huge Beatles fan, and the coolest thing about the Beatles is that if you listen through time to them, if you start at I Want to Hold Your Hand and go through Revolver and, the, you know, the White Album, and you listen to how they develop, they were never afraid to be, be different than when, how they started. I think that um, a lot of bands out there in the commercial world, they seem to go down one path and it becomes a big hit and then they never derivate from, uh, is that a word? Um, <laughs> from that for the rest of their careers. And it's just the same song regurgitated over and over and over. And yes, it might be very commercially successful, but it, it's not very uh, intellectually interesting. Um, uh, so, yeah, experiment. Find your find find out. You know, you you don't have to wear one shirt all the time. 